How can you tell the difference between a natural fabric and a synthetic fabric? And why do you even need to know that? Well, if you're a fashion designer like me, you need to know that. Hey honey, welcome to my channel Designed by Ida. My name is Teresa, I'm a professional fashion designer. And today I'm gonna show you how you can test a fabric to see if it's natural or synthetic. It's a really easy test. You can do it so fast. You, you just need a candle and a place where you don't burn down the house. So if you're um, going out buying fabrics and you're wondering if this beautiful satin fabric is like real silk or polyester, ask for a small piece of it, a small swatch, take it outside and do this burn test and you will quickly see if it's real silk, natural fabric or synthetic. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now, okay? So I got this candle here. Ta-da! So I'm gonna show you how you can <clears throat> So I'm gonna show you now how you can quickly and easily test a fabric to see if it's synthetic or natural. And afterwards I'm gonna show you a really cool trick that you can do to synthetic fabrics. You can do it to natural fabrics as well, but it's not gonna last very long. So we're gonna do it to synthetic fabrics afterwards and it's gonna be really, really fun. So stay tuned to the end and I'm gonna show you. So let's do the burn test. Here is my candle. And so what happens? If you're going to the fabric store and you're looking at this beautiful satin fabric and it looks like this and it drapes beautifully and it has a beautiful shine and you just love the way it looks and moves. So you're wondering, is this real silk or is it synthetic? Well, let's check. I'm gonna cut a piece of it right now with my gigantic scissors. And I have this bowl of water so I don't burn down the house doing this. Now I'm gonna show you. So beautiful satin fabric and look what happens when I put it next to the flame. See how it crinkles up? It doesn't really burn, it melts. And what does that tell me? It tells me it's a synthetic fiber. See this, I'm gonna show you again. See how it like crinkles up like this? It really just melts and turns into plastic. So, and it doesn't really smell anything. It's, it has very, I need to go very close to smell anything at all. So very little smell and it's hot, so I'm not gonna touch it right now, but when it cools off, if I touch it, I'm gonna feel like hard plasticky lumps along the edge of the fabric. And that's how I know it's a th synthetic. So this is not silk, this is polyester. So what happens when I burn real silk? I have this black silk satin here and just from looking at it, it just looks like a satin and you can't really tell, right? Well, when you worked with fabrics for a long time like I have, I can tell just by touching them. I can immediately tell if it's silk or polyester or rayon or whatever it is because I have experience now. But this is a quick test to check it. So, silk fabric. I do not want to burn myself and this is so crinkled. I'm going to try this. You see, natural fibers burn and they turn to ashes and they smell. You know when you're making a bonfire outside or you're putting some logs in the fire and well, you can smell them, right? You can smell the wood burning and it it has a distinctive smell, right? It, it's quite smelly actually, but it smells um, natural. It's hard to explain, but it smells like burning paper. So when you burn natural fibers, it smells like burning paper or burning wood. It smells natural and the fabric turns to ashes. It doesn't melt and turn into plastic. It becomes feathery thin at the end and it turns to ashes. It really smells like I burnt my hair or 
something similar in here right now. Um, and also you could see a lot of smoke when I burnt, when I um, put out the fire. I'm gonna show you again. So I have some um, polyester um, chiffon right here. And I'm gonna take a small piece of that and show you what happens. So polyester chiffon, watch this. See how it melts? The scary thing about um, synthetic fabrics is that they, they burn really, really fast. So when they catch fire, they like burn or melt super fast. So they're very scary to wear in a fire. And because they melt and turn into plastic, they really cling to your body. So it's a nightmare to get it off. So as you can see, um, it now has these like melted plastic hard edges. Can you see that? It's great if you're um, actually like sewing something and you don't have an overlock machine and you just want to like finish the edges so they don't uh, fray, then you can burn the edges because then the, the edges are literally like sealed and melted and they won't fray. So when I was doing, when I was in school, if I was um, using fabric swatches, I would sometimes do this. I would just quickly run the edge over the fabric to like seal it off so it wouldn't fray. It's just, you need to be careful, of course, but it's a quick way to seal the fabric after cutting it because it, it melts, see? So that's synthetic. Let's try muslin the fabric that we all use all the time when we, when I, when I, um, so whenever I make a new pattern and I am, let's say I'm making a dress, then I will always make a mock-up out of muslin before cutting into the real fabric. I always test it out. Muslin is cheap, it's easy to use, and I can draw on it, and I can cut into it and play around with it. So whenever I have a new pattern that I'm developing, I will make a mock-up out of muslin. I will sew it up, do a fitting, and see if it fits the way I want it to, if it has the right length, the right width, and then I can make tweaks and changes before I cut into the real fabric. So muslin, if you're a fashion designer, you use this a lot. And muslin is cotton, so it's a natural um, fiber. So look at this. And I have water. See how it burns? It really burns like paper and it really smells like burnt paper. It's, it, it's way more stinky than the synthetic fabrics and it really burns and turns into ashes. So that's how you can tell. I don't know if you can see it clearly, but the edge is like feather thin right now and it's becoming ashes. So that's how you know. If a fabric smells and turns into ashes, it's natural. If it melts and turns into plastic, it's synthetic. So why do you need to know this? Well, as a fashion designer, you need to know your fabrics and you need to know how your fabric is going to behave when exposed to heat. So for instance, when you're designing a garment, you are going to put some care instructions on that garment when it's finished, right? You're going to tell the customer how this garment should be washed. Can it be put in the dryer? Can it be ironed? All these things. And a lot of it has to do with heat because fabrics change when exposed to heat, right? Some fabrics will shrink. Some fabrics will shrink a lot, <laughs> depending on the heat. And you know, when you iron fabrics, when you, uh, if you just, if your iron is cold, it's not really gonna smooth out all the wrinkles, right? It only happens when you apply heat. So when you have a hot iron, it will smooth out the wrinkles because the fabric changes when exposed to heat. And you can use that power. So I'm gonna show you a really cool trick right now that you can do. And I'm gonna use this polyester chiffon right here. 
So one thing that I did a long time ago, I was going to my friend's wedding and I wanted to make a fun dress. I was kind of bored and I wanted to make something fun, bouncy, a dress with some volume and some movement and just really like a fun dress. So I bought some um, polyester chiffon, needs to be synthetic for this to work. You can use silk, but if you wash it, then the effect is gone. So with polyester, it stays. So polyester chiffon and what I'm going to do right now, this is so fun, I promise. I'm going to take some tennis balls and I'm going to put it into the fabric and I would use rubber bands if I had any, but I don't. So I'm going to use some hair ties right now. So, and you can use string, you can use whatever you want, but this is just fast. So you want to close it up kind of tight. Don't break, please. Okay, good. So what we're going to do, I'm going to take a lot of tennis balls and I'm just randomly going to tie them into this fabric. So I just randomly put a lot of tennis balls in here. I have a lot of tennis balls for this reason, because this is fun. Um, so I just put a lot of tennis balls just randomly in there and just try to um, really close it up tight because it's going to be more effective if you do that. So, ha, here we go. Okay, so here we have three of them. I'm gonna tie in some more. And then I'm gonna take this fabric and put it in the washer and I'm gonna just do a normal cycle for about an hour with like hot water. And then I'm gonna put it in the dryer and let it dry, tumble in there for about an hour on high heat. And then I'm gonna show you what happens. All right, let's go. So let's remove the hair ties. I have cheated, so I have removed some of them already to make it a little bit faster. And here we go. You ready? So I'm going to take out the tennis ball. And as you can see, the fabric holds the shape. And this is what happens with synthetic fabrics. When you make a shape in the fabric with heat, it creates a shape that stays. So look at how cool this is. So look here. Can you see how this can be a really cool bouncy skirt or a dress or something? Because now it has shape. Way more exciting and fun than if it was just plain fabric. Look at this part. This part, plain fabric, right? Can be a nice dress, but look at this one. Completely different. See that? And it moves. It just bounces because it has all these like bouncy shapes now. See? Bow, bow, bow. So beautiful. So that's something that you can play around with and you can create some really fun, beautiful dresses and skirts and um, yeah, have fun with it. And that's how you can manipulate fabrics. You can change fabrics. And as a fashion designer, it's really fun to change things up. And if you know your fabrics, you can be so creative and make so many amazing designs and make the most creative, voluminous, uh, bouncy dresses and maybe make a fleece blanket for your couch that has like bubble shapes to it. That would be cool, right? If you know your fabrics and you know what you can do with uh, synthetic fabrics, you can have a lot of fun and be really creative. So I hope you like this video. Please like it and share it with your friends. It really helps me, so please do so. And subscribe because I'm gonna make more fun videos and I will see you in the next one. So bye.